so far, you know, especially with all this stuff going on, you know, then my gym closed. So I had a lot of stuff to deal with, but it was more, you know, and I said to myself, this year, I have to focus now. I've got the time. I'm closed. I have to focus on myself, mm. you know, and I really purely I committed to myself for this year. And yeah, I've lost weight. I got up to 89 kilos at the start because they gave me some uh, medication um, for my neck and that blew me out to 89 kilos. So I mm. felt crap. I was, I was feeling depressed. I was sad. I didn't know what the... Th- I had so many emotions. And then they closed the gym and I was like, man, like <laughs> what else can happen? So yeah, that mm. was just a... I had, to sw- I had to switch my mind straight away, you know? And, and it was just a working progress up until now. You know, and I've lost 14 kilos. I'm down to 75 kilos. So, you know, a lot of running, a lot of training. I'm doing all my chin-ups and push-ups and weightlifting now. Um, so I feel good now compared to the start of the year. Yeah, nice. You know? I feel, well, I feel that, yeah, good. It's, it's good that you've had the time to sort of let your body recover because otherwise you just would have continued working through it and – going teaching jiu-jitsu and taking it one day at a time. Yeah, that's the hardest part, man, is because I, I commit to my school, to my academy, um, and I'm there in every class. I'm, I'm physically involved in every class. I do the inquiries. So it's just a one-man band for me, so it's a lot mm. of time, uh, you know, that I put into my academy. And I, and I sort of – and I know and like, because the last two years, because I went full-time, I had to commit to growing, growing it, trying to grow it through a business, mm. the business side of it. So I knew I had to sort of neglect myself a little bit and focus on that part. And this year I got to focus now on myself because the way yeah. I say it is if you're not mentally stable yourself, if you're not healthy yourself, you're no good to nobody, you know? So if I just sit there and keep focusing on others all the time, I'll lose myself and I'll become unhealthy. That's yeah. the way I see it. So. I used that this year to, 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 to get my health up, my mental strength back in, get myself conditioned. I feel mm. good now. I feel, I feel good, you know. So, and uh, yeah, it was, when I open, I'm going to have a different mindset. I feel healthy. Mm. Yeah, I feel a lot more clarity. I feel clear, you know. Um, my food, my food has been super clean. Um, so, yeah, everything, everything has just been very healthy this year for me. Mm. So, which has definitely helped. Where some people will use this as a time to sort of get themselves down, mm. you know, and, 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 you know, play the blame game. Oh, this happened and that happened. That's why I'm like this and I'm like that. I, 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 I refuse to be like that, mm. you know? Yeah, the, the sort of victim mindset. Yeah, I don't like that. I'll never do that, you know? I'll yeah. snap myself out of it. I'll force myself. There's times I don't want to do, I don't want to train, I don't want to run, you know? But I just... I'm telling myself I don't want to do it as I'm putting on my shoes, man, mm. you know, but I'm going to keep doing it. You just do it. Whether I feel I liked it or not, I just did it, man. And I'm always, always feel better when it's done. Always. I'll never, re- you never regret it. <laughs> yeah. You, you never, you never you know, say, I knew I should done, have done that workout. Hmm. You only regret it if you don't do it. And you said, man, I should have done it. I should have just done it. I should have just pushed through it. You know, yeah, that's when you start to yeah. regret yeah, it's just uh, about getting into a routine. Yeah, you got to commit. You know, I, I'm a very, I'm a very, uh, I'm very committed. Yeah, I'm very. You know, when I put my mind to something, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm kind of obsessive. I'm obsessed with when, when, you know, when I'm on a mission, nothing can stop me. Like nothing. Mm. That's the way. I, I'm super focused. I'm super determined. Whether whatever happens around me, that's my mission. I, I'm going for it. I'm, I just attack it. You know, so. Yeah, that's kind of my mindset when it comes to things like that, especially, you know, with times tough, especially with struggles and difficulties. That's when you need to push. That's when martial arts comes into play. You can mm. be a tough guy on the mat, but if you can't handle those kind of stuff in life, when, you know, stuff like that happens to you, then it's, it's pointless. Well, like you said before, with the martial arts, it's like you you don't get better unless you sort of get in there and get beat up and sort of lose yeah. and then. So you have to go so through like the struggle. You, you need have the to struggle. go through the difficulties. Mm. You know? It's like a side control. There's no other way. 
when you're in side control, you're going to get your face smashed. You're going to get squashed. You're going to eat dirt. That's what I say to everyone. Everybody eats dirt in jiu-jitsu or the mat. Mm. Everybody, you know? Yeah. There's, you can't get away from it. And the people that don't like it are the ones that quit, that leave. Mm. Or they go to somewhere where they know they can beat everyone up. Well, you yeah, know, yeah. They, kinda, they have that kind of mindset, which I don't like, you know? And obviously, there's a certain level then you have to give back. It's not just about you taking you have to give back hmm. and you want to be that kind of training partner anyway from the start you want to be the give and take person not just the person that takes all the time take 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 you know you have to give you have to you have to help you have to contribute you know back to your club or to your team or to whoever you know hmm. if, you, if you're not good as an individual you can't be good as a team yeah exactly <laughs> you know that's the way i sort of see it so it always comes down to to the individual, you know. But then yeah. you know, and but like say with martial arts, like it does crush your ego, but with special jujitsu. But at the same time, what's happening now is people with bad attitudes and bad mindsets understand how powerful jujitsu is now. So mm. those bad people are learning it as well. Yeah, not just the good, there's mm. good, obviously there's the good yeah, people yeah. and the humble people and the learning mm. people, but now there's also the bad people doing it. So that only, you know, when the bad people, empowers them even more. Well, there's no, um, sort of the old Helio Gracie, would, he was notorious for not giving out black belts to a lot of his brown belts, didn't matter how long they were there. He's like, no, you'll ne- you, don't, you don't know jujitsu. You've never learned the lessons, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, because they're like, no, no, you're just, it's like, no, I'm not giving you a black belt. It's like, okay, wow, that's, you know, that's not just based on time. It's based on everything and the attitudes and that. Yeah, so. that's how I think too. It's not just on your time. It's not just on your skills, but how you are as a person. What, what do you, mm. what you do with the jiu-jitsu, you know? Um, yeah, it's not just about how tough you are. There's a lot of tough people. Mm. There's, a, there's a lot of skillful people, but they're not good human beings, you know? I know well, it. Shit. I know. I, I see it. I see it. Mm. And obviously there's more of a coming out where you've got instructors and, you know, obviously all this kind of other stuff that, they, you know, they're in bad, they do bad things with mm. it. And they use it to an advantage, you know, against weaker people. Yeah. So, yeah, for me, your attitude plays a massive part. Mm. If you don't have the right attitude and you come into my school wanting to learn, I always question people when people come in and say, oh, especially people that come in and say, I want to fight. Mm. You know, and I'm like, okay, for what's your purpose of it though? Why do you want to fight? You know, and I've had people come in, oh man, I just want to smash people. I would, I'll, I'll never teach a person that. A person mm. with that attitude, I'll never teach. I don't want that attitude. Mm. And people say, yeah, but you got to give them a chance. You might change them. Yeah, you might not either. Mm. You know, as well, because they've got this mindset already in their head. 